hi loves welcome and welcome back to my channel and to a new video so today's video i will basically be giving tips on how to start reading again and this video would be divided into two sections so the first section of this video are tips to start reading again for two categories of people the first being those who are active readers but are experiencing a bad reading slump and have absolutely no idea what to do about it or just don't like you know this state of being unable to read no matter how much you try um, and the second category are people who have not been reading but have this desire or just you know want to start reading words on paper again at their own leisure you know not for school not for work or anything of that sort and because they have been out of practice for so long um you know their last recollection of them reading at leisure was when they were like children really little or it has been quite a while you know we're talking like five years six years and they want to get back to reading again and they don't know how to go about that the first segment of this video would apply to both of those people and then the second segment of this video would apply solely to the second category of people mentioned basically those that have not been reading and want to start reading again i feel like this video should have come a lot earlier in the year <laughs> just because you know um we have seen a lot of new year re resolutions where people are like oh they want to read more they have certain goals they need recommendations and all that and so that was actually what inspired me to film this video plus like the reading slump complaints i've been seeing you know from like the reading community online has been a lot <laughs> and like i've seen a lot of people that i follow so i interact with you know their reading pace this year is not the same as other years and it's not even like as a result of them being more busy or anything just that they can't bring themselves to read anything like it's not working or anything of that sort and like i've said in one or two videos on this channel i'm no exception to that complaint my reading and the start of this year has just not been it but thankfully hopefully i'm recovering i want to just share tips with you guys um how i get through these times how i get back into reading and every other such thing right so without wasting any more time let's jump right to the tip. first tip i would be giving for you know getting out of a reading slump wanting to read again is to let yourself be i feel like most times you know when a reading slump wants to start reading again and it's like you are just forcing and forcing yourself and it's like you are picking up all the books you own you are trying to start everything at once and you know you you just want to read something which is not bad but i just feel like it is important to let yourself be. it will just help if when you find yourself in this um phase you just take a breather you know let yourself be don't start forcing yourself to read to read what you know you're not enjoying something but you're like oh i need to finish this book i need to break this reading slow don't do that <laughs> like just breathe let yourself be find other recreational activities to fill the time that you would have used to read and all that so yeah that's my first tip is just to let yourself be this one is like one of the quickest ways to get back into reading because if you use if you just let yourself oh i've been trying to read for like the past two or three days and nothing has been working and you know i don't have the desire to continue the books i'm not enjoying it even though this is like my favorite genre and my favorite trope ever just take time out because eventually you would miss it and missing it is one of the best ways to get back into reading from experience then the second point you know you have let yourself be one month is gone <laughs> i'm not saying leave it till like one month i mean it depends on why you read in the first place but like you notice that a lot of time is passing by and you know you have tried to fill that time up with something else but you just really want to read and then it's still not working you are in such a slump it's, it's so bad this advice now applies to you know <laughs> both people 
that in the reading slump and just don't start reading again is to find what you like other areas of entertainment in books maybe you use all your free time to read before this and now you're in a reading slump or you want to start reading again like the last time you read you cannot recall and you have just been like watching movies all this time my advice is to find what you like in books so quick example you watch movies you do you haven't read for let's say six years ten years you can't remember the last time you picked up a book to read and then you watch movies and you notice that this is your favorite type of thing to watch I would recommend that you pick up or you look for a book that has that genre that trope whatever it is that you really find yourself enjoying and try to read that in a book you have been there reading slow um, you use that time to watch k-dramas right and then k-dramas you have been watching have been like all revenge k-dramas and those are the ones you have been really enjoying pick up books that have the revenge theme as the main theme because you're in a reading slump here or you have not been reading you may find it hard at first but because of your immense enjoyment for the revenge plot and everything you would find some enjoyment in that book and obviously you would get into the vibes when two is to look for what you enjoy in other form of entertainment in books and then third on this list is to leave your comfort zone <laughs> try something new right so now you have taken a deep breath you have taken time out you know um, and you have missed it right you have left it and then you want to come back because you are missing it and then you are looking for what you are enjoying and it still doesn't seem to work you need to leave your comfort zone right so yeah romance girly that's all you read try and pick up a short cozy mystery you know yeah a thriller girly a horror girly that's all you read try and pick up a romance like try to leave your comfort because it might just be that you have gotten too comfortable in your comfort zone that it no longer excites you because people who you know tend to think that comfort sometimes is boring but the excitement in comfort right that you know this thing in and out and you are just ready to explore and experience all that it gives there's excitement and comfort but i feel like after you have done the first two things and it doesn't seem to be working out the next thing you should be looking for is to leave your comfort zone <laughs> like try something else like try a different genre try a book that explores different themes than you are used to or different things in general but the baseline is leave your comfort zone and then if at the end of the day it still doesn't work out you go back and start again take a breather right there's no need trying to force yourself to read i always like to say even if you are reading um self-help non non-fiction um sort of books at the end of the day as long as you're not reading it for work or for school even if those books are to you know help you at the end of the day it is a leisure activity it is a hobby and when you start to force a hobby it becomes a chore it becomes a job and there is no need to do that to yourself because it, it just doesn't sound great like imagine trying to make something that you are supposed to use to relax or fill up your leisure time the time that is meant for you to rest imagine that thing giving you stress like that just contradicts the whole point so if you try these three things and they're not working go back to the first step go back to the second step go back to the third step and i promise it gets better at the end of the day right um, so now I will just be sharing a few things or talking about a few things for those who have not been reading for the longest time I want to get back into it right uh, so these tips for me is more like a question <laughs> you should ask yourself as somebody who the last time you read was when you were in middle school or in primary school and like the story books you had back then but you really want to get back into reading the first two things i feel like you should ask yourself really important the first being why do you want to start reading like i 
I feel like nowadays reading has become an aesthetic. I know there's a whole lot of controversies around this whole reading for aesthetic and everything, but we cannot deny that recently, very recently, reading has become a thing that people do because it is something that is seen as cool. Basically, be it reading self-help, be it reading um, um, fiction or whatever you are reading, we cannot lie to ourselves. Like, let's say the truth to ourselves from deep down inside our hearts. Nowadays, reading is something that is seen as cool. Before, I, I remember, I remember a lot back there, you know, when I was like still in secondary school and everything, you are reading fiction and people... <laughs> people will give you nicknames for it and all that which I mean not doesn't always essentially translate to like them trying to bully you or anything but like it was just something that was not seen as popular or a normal activity or anything but with the rise of book talk and all it has become like very prominent right to just be reading something to always have a book with you plus like the whole uh, celebrities carrying book around books around has you know added or contributed to the whole reader girl aesthetic right so um ask yourself why you want to start reading now if you're someone that wants to pick up like non-fiction um self-help developmental reads and books like that are you picking it up to look smart or are you picking it up because you want to learn right and um i want to say there's nothing wrong with reading for aesthetics but that's just a lie it's a thing that exists it doesn't mean that people are reading for aesthetics it doesn't mean that everybody you see reading on the internet reads for aesthetics i mean i have a booktube channel i have an instagram channel i'm not reading for aesthetics right and that's not for you to judge but obviously we can't lie that it has become a thing that is seen as cool and so you know you're like picking up a book so that you don't seem like the unsmart person you don't seem like someone who is dull or anything of that sort so you should you know make sure you're coming from the right place that you want to start reading why <laughs> like there are a million different reasons you can start reading but let's it not just be from a place of wanting to look a certain way to certain people because you're just going to find it hard to navigate it because reading is an activity that if you are not enjoying you cannot carry for long right and then you set this whole goal for yourself oh i want to read at least a book every month but then you're not coming from the right place and then you're not enjoying it and then you end up not reading the book you think uh, the amount of books you think you need to read to appear this certain way to certain people and that's just going to do a whole lot to you it's going to make you feel bad about yourself and just you know so don't let it be for the perception of others let it be for you and you alone right so that's tip one make sure that you have the right reasons for wanting to start reading again after such a long time and second is to ask yourself what you want to read <laughs> like you will say you need to start somewhere to get anywhere like you must start somewhere to get to anywhere right you don't just appear wherever it is you want to be and so we have fiction right and non-fiction in fiction there are a million genres a million and one genres right and i'm not saying oh read only one genre or anything but think of where you want to start otherwise you'll just be confused if you have non-fiction they're like essays they're like memoirs they're like self-help books think of what you want so that your journey your transition into becoming you know an avid reader a bookworm whatever they like to call it is easier right so those are like two special tips for people who have not been reading that want to start reading again is to have the right reasons and think of what you want to read yes my loves that is it for this very short video like i said in the beginning these tips are purely from experience and you know things that i have observed and all that they're not rule of law or anything so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you think these tips are helpful or if they helped you in any sort of way let me know down in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye